Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very, very interesting and challenging question from radical equations. The given equation is 7th root of x minus 127 full power 7 minus 127 equal to x minus 128. We have to calculate all real solutions. So let's get started by considering our equation as 7th root of x minus 127 whole power 7 minus 127 equal to x minus 128 we can split as minus 127 minus 1. Now I will consider our substitution. So let us consider x minus 127 equal to a. So I will write our equation as 7th root of a power 7 minus 127 equal to a minus 1. Now I will take minus 1 to the left and this radical term to the right. So it will become 1 equal to a minus 7th root of a power 7 minus 127. Now I will take minus common from this radicate. So I can write a and that minus will come out as power is odd plus 7th root of 127 minus a power 7. LHS is 1. Let us write our equation here. a plus 7th root of 127 minus a power 7 and RHS is 1. Now I will consider our second substitution. Again this radicant will be b power 7. So our equation will become a plus 7th root of b power 7 equal to 1 or a plus b equal to 1. This is our first equation. And second equation I will write from our substitution. So from here I can write 127 minus a power 7 equal to b power 7. So I can write a power 7 plus b power 7 equal to 1 2 7. This is our equation number 2. Now we have to solve this system. Let us solve. Let me write equations here. a plus b equal to 1 and a power 7 plus b power 7 equal to 127. Now I will consider the squaring of this equation a plus b whole square equal to 1 whole square. Before that I will consider a b equal to t suppose. So let us consider a b equal to t. Now I will apply a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b equal to 1. So a square plus b square plus 2t equal to 1 or a square plus b square equal to 1 minus 2t. Now I have to figure out a power 7 plus b power 7. So I will consider squaring once again. Whole square and I will consider squaring here also. So it will give us a power 4 this time plus b power 4 plus 2a square b square equal to 
वन माइनस टू टी होल स्क्वायर नाउ ए बी इज टी सो ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर विल बी टी स्क्वायर सो आई विल राइट ए पार फोर प्लस बी पार फोर प्लस टू टी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन माइनस टू टी होल स्क्वायर और ए पार फोर प्लस बी पार फोर दिस इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस टू टी होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू टी स्क्वायर लेट सिंप्लीफाई आर एच एस सो आई विल राइट वन माइनस टू टी होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू टी स्क्वायर दिस इज ए पार फोर प्लस बी पार फोर नाउ लेट सिंप्लीफाई आर एच एस फर्स्ट सो आई विल राइट ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी सो फोर टी माइनस टू टी स्क्वायर सो फोर माइनस टू इज टू टी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर टी प्लस वन दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए पार फोर प्लस बी पार फोर नाउ आई विल कंसिडर क्यूबिंग ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू वन इक्वेशन नंबर वन लेट्स कंसिडर क्यूबिंग फुल क्यूब बोथ साइड सो ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए बी ए प्लस बी equal to 1 cube that means 1 now ab was t so i will write a cube plus b cube plus 3t times 1 a plus b is 1 equal to 1 or i can write a cube plus b cube equal to 1 minus 3t this is one equation and here we have the sum of power 4 once i will multiply i will get a power 7 plus b power 7 term let's multiply 2t square minus 4t plus 1 with 1 minus 3t in the rhs so let's multiply i will write here lhs first so a power 4 plus b power 4 times a cube Plus b cube. So this value was a power four plus b power four was two t square minus four t plus one. And in second bracket, the sum of two cubes it was one minus three t. Let's multiply a power four times a cube a power seven. b power 4 times b cube b power 7 plus cross product a4 b cube plus a3 b4 so i will take a cube b cube common so in bracket will have a plus b right hand side once i will multiply i will get minus 6t cube plus 14t square minus 7t Plus one. In LHS, AB was T, so here I will be writing one twenty seven. Plus, this was AB was T, so it will become T cube. A plus B was one. RHS is as it is minus six T cube plus fourteen T square minus seventy plus one. now i will take all the term to lhs so it will give us 70q minus 14t square then i will write plus 70 then it is 126 rhs will be 0 equation is divisible by 7 let's divide t q Minus two t square plus t plus eighteen equal to zero. Let's use rational root theorem and synthetic division. 
if we'll see the factors of constant term then it is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 6 plus minus 9 and plus minus 18 and leading coefficient if i will write only plus minus 1 so we can take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient term it will give us the base root or solution so let me write here or put the value of t equal to 1 it will satisfy no 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 so 18 will be left let me put t is equal to minus 2 so minus 8 minus 8 minus 2 plus 18 is this true yes that means t equal to minus 2 is our base solution let us use synthetic division method so i will write all the coefficient of this cubic equation and then we will apply synthetic division let me write t equal to negative 2 the coefficients of cubic equation 1 minus 2 1 18 leading coefficient as it is 1 now minus 2 times 1 minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 times minus 4 plus 8 9 minus 2 times 9 minus 18 0 so these are coefficients for quadratic equation let me write t square minus 4t plus 9 equal to 0 i will check only discriminant here delta or d b square so minus 4 is square minus 4 times a times c so it is 16 minus 36 it will give us negative 20 because of discriminant is negative complex solutions will generate complex solutions so we can reject this quadratic equation for real solutions rejected so which solution we are going to accept it is t equal to minus 2 so let's write what was t t was a b so i will write t equal to a b equal to minus 2 and if i will write our first equation then it was a plus b equal to 1 now i will frame easily one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b let's frame in a itself so i will be writing a square minus sum of roots so it is sum of roots this is product of roots so it is 1 a so let write a only plus product of root so it will be minus 2 equal to 0 if i will factorize it i will be having a plus 1 a minus 2 so we can check minus 2a plus a is minus a and product is minus 2 equal to 0 a equal to negative 1 and a equal to now a was our substitution a was x minus 127 equal to negative 1 and 2 add 127 to both sides so i will get 127 minus 1 126 and 127 plus 2 129 there are two real values for which this equation will hold true let's verify our solution so i will write here check this is our equation let me write here x is equal to 129 first so lhs if i will write then it will become seventh root of 129 i will put here so 129 minus 127 2 raised to the power 7 minus 127 this value will become seventh root of 2 power 7 is 128 minus 127 so this will 
give us 7th root of 1 and which is equal to 1. And if I will check my RHS, then it is 129 minus 128. So this is also equal to 1. Both values are equal. That means this is true. Now let's check x is equal to 1, 2, 6. So I will write LHS 7th root of 126 minus 127. So minus 1 power 7. Minus 127. It should match with 126 minus 128. Which is minus 2. Okay. Left hand side it is 7th root of minus 1 raised to the power odd number. Minus 1. So minus 1 minus 127, it is minus 128, which I can write 7th root of minus 2 raised to the power 7. Now 7th root and 7 will be over. So it is minus 2 in LHS, minus 2 in RHS. That means this is also true solution. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.